start with a new chapter called as complex number now let's understand what is the meaning of complex number so guys from the childhood you all are learning the different types of numbers so you all know what are the real numbers what are the whole numbers what are the integer numbers and everything so real numbers you can count like 1 2 3 or minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 till negative infinity or positive infinity so similarly let's understand what is complex number and why exactly complex number come into existence and why exactly the complex number came into existence so guys if i ask you a simple question what is the square root of 9 so you all would say it is plus 3 or minus 3 and that's correct but if i ask you what is the square root of negative 9 so now it's very difficult to tell the square root because we say or you are you have been learning from the school days that square root of negative number does not exist so exactly so if I want to find out the square root of negative number, how would I find it out? So we can find it out or we can find out the square root of negative number by or with the help of complex numbers. So guys, if I want to find out the square root of negative 9, then I would say it is square root of minus 1 into 9, which is 3 and square root of minus 1 is i now you must be thinking sir what is this i so guys don't worry to explain this i am here so now let's start with the complex number i'll first explain you the definition and the form of a complex number and then you will understand what is the meaning of this i so complex number so any number which is given in the form x plus i y so x we generally call it as a real part and this i y we call it as imaginary part now why imaginary part so it's simple because with this part can you observe one symbol which is written as i so due to this i it is called as imaginary part so basically a complex number is a combination of real and imaginary part it's so easy so whenever you see such type of combination we we will be calling it as complex number so guys here can you see that the answer is 3i so here we have i so we can call it as a complex number but yes it is a different type of complex number so i'll come to that part so x plus i y is a complex number or any number of the form x plus i y is called as complex number and the value of i in the complex number is square root of minus 1. So let's take everything together. So it means any number of the form x plus i y where x and y are real. So the meaning of this line is if I take x and y separate then they both are real. It means the value of x and y will be between negative infinity to positive, positive infinity or in simple words I would say that we all have studied the number line in school days okay so whatever number that you can represent on the number line all those numbers are the real numbers so basically x and y can carry any value so it can be a negative value it can be a negative fraction it can be a positive fraction or the positive integer so these are real next the value of i is square root of minus one so such a number is called as complex number so in this x will be called as real part and i y or here we call this part as the imaginary part because it is always preceded by i symbol so this is about the complex number now let's come to our example so in our example we got 3i it means here we have imaginary part but we don't have real part so guys whenever in a complex number here i'll say whenever in a complex number the x part is zero 
our complex number which is generally denoted by z will be i y so z is a complex number x plus i y so in this i am saying that the real part is zero so that time we are just getting i y that is imaginary part so such number is called as purely imaginary number now guys let's come to the other part is it possible that this y can be zero yes so whenever this second part i y is zero that time so y is zero it means i y is zero that time at z will be x so it means now in this number there is no imaginary part so if there is no imaginary part or if there is only real part then it becomes our real number so it is called as purely real number so guys we have seen the definition of complex number how to identify the complex number and what is purely real and purely imaginary number so whenever you see a number z equal to x plus i y it is complex number but guys let me tell you a specific term this is also called as cartesian form of complex number so in next videos we are gonna see different forms of complex number so one of the form is cartesian form other two are polar and exponential form so whenever we have a number in the form x plus i y this is called as cartesian form or it is also called as a standard form of complex number now standard means it will have only one real part and one imaginary part so here you can see that x is a single real part and i y is a single imaginary part so such number is are also called as standard form or here i would say it is cartesian form So z equal to x plus i y is a standard form or the Cartesian form of a complex number. So guys, now based on this, we are gonna solve the numericals in the following videos.